Hello, this is Peter Cunningham. This is a short video to talk you through uh, how to start updating last year's reserves model. It's particularly oriented towards reservoir engineers who use future only for reserves and so who might not have used it since, last, since a year previously or who m maybe have to start working from somebody else's uh, reserves model of the previous year. The, the steps to update um, from last year's reserves model, it's fairly straightforward. What, I'm, what I'll talk you through, give, it, give you a demonstration with screenshots and so on, is how to open the model and save it in a, you know, under a new name, how to change the prediction start date, how to update the historical and well test data, how to remove the approvals that are maybe on the wells, is usually on the wells, and then there's an optional step, which is uh, how to create extra scenarios so that you can see last year's decline curves and this year's decline curves next to each other so you can compare them. As I say, that's optional. Once you've done all this, these things, you're ready to start updating your decline curves and go through the normal reserves exercise. So we'll swap to uh, future now and we'll open uh, start by opening a model you'll often find that last year's reserves model will will have been frozen so that it, it hasn't been changed and then you'll get a warning like this it's nothing to worry about it just means that um, it can't be overwritten when you, if you try to save you'll be prompted for, for a new run name but that's exactly what we want so we we open up our model and the first thing we want to do is uh, file quick save. It's, I'm assuming you we're going to use the same database as last year. And that in, in this particular example, it was a 2008 model going to be updated to a 2009 model. I hope you're slightly more up to date in your reserves. Okay, so let's have a look. Right, now I've saved it with in a different uh, folder with, with the same name. You probably would, pr would want to save it under a different name as well. Okay, so that's the first step. Second step is to change the prediction start date. So th now this is the date for which Future will look up the historical um, forecast and from what from where it will go on to uh, prediction so and that's under file settings for current model here or shortcut is if you go to the on this uh, icon here and the start date can be specified here and we can change it to 2000 and And nine. We can see also here the spectre for historical data and the spectre for well test data. These are what need to be updated. The next step after the change of start date is to update these. And there you for that you've got two choices. Okay. So on the updating of historical, we can either take the existing uh, historical data and add data uh, it's historical spectra and add data to it using the the option import historical data and then we can point to the the same thing and give it an update alternatively we could again from the same source uh, database or, or spreadsheet or whatever we could give it a um, a new historical spectre name and if we do that then it would the data would load under a different historical spectre and we'd have to tell our model to use a new uh, spectre okay so there's sim a similar process for the updating of well test uh, spectres 
One point to note is this, this may often be done uh, centrally. Okay, having done that, we'll find in our model quite often that the welds have been signed off and so are now read only. Now, that makes sense last year, but now we want to change things. So we can either reset, we need to set, reset their status to working, which we can either do right click on the individual well, one by one, or we could select the whole lot with the top left button there, and then right click and set everything back to working. Once we've done that, it may be as well to do a quick save. We may also, at this stage, we could go ahead and start editing our curve, our decline curves. But we might well want to see the last year's decline curves as well as this year's for, for QC purposes. One way of doing that is to add some extra scenarios for that purpose. And that's done under forecast add edit scenario. So here we'd want to have a, I'll illustrate it with just one, we'll have a medium 2008 scenario to display the previous years. And we'll probably we want to make sure that this has the scenario that we've just defined has the appropriate settings. So we'll we'll take it from we can take it from that uh, the, the frozen uh, the scenario of the frozen model, and then we're reading it to that one. And then we will find we should find that all our medium 2008 properties are set to what they are in this medium style. And then what we can do when we come to editing, taking care not to edit the 2008 scenario, but the, uh, we will then be able to move our forecast and still see the older one. Okay, m remember that is an optional uh, uh, thing. And when you finished with that, you can get rid of your, when you finish your QCing and so on, you can of course get rid of your uh, scenario uh, and going through the process and then deleting. Okay, and so at that stage you're ready to start updating your declines and then uh, going through the uh, approval processes and running all your various forecasts. Thank you for your time.